new skin business. Thank you. Uh, before doing the new skin business, I was actually a pharmacist by profession. So I've been running this business um, full time for more than 10 years. Okay, it has been an awesome journey. Right. So welcome uh, all our new friends. Welcome everybody on board today. Today's training is EBP. I'm starting a proper now. Today's training is an executive brand partner meeting. So for many of you, this is actually a mid-level meeting. Right. Um, so brand, anybody... No, so it's an executive brand partner. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, maybe before I start, uh, well, there are still people coming in, right? So like I say, right, you know, this is an awesome month for June because uh, New, Skin, New Skin is a fantastic company. They are wonderful support for distributors like us. You realize? They are very good promotion. Especially this month, the Ultimate Dual promotion is fantastic, isn't it? Right, and they actually extended the promotion until last Saturday, so that many of you can still grab hold of the last buy. Isn't it wonderful? I think in uh, times like this, right, not many companies are as generous as New Skin. You agree? And I think this month, many of you have very awesome uh, volumes, right? And uh, maybe some of you, this is your first time closing Ultima Dual One Set, so give yourself a big uh, clap. Give a pet for yourself, right? And many of you have uh, closed uh, more than 10,000 points GSV. So congratulations to all of you. And I know there are, yeah, congrats to all. And uh, it's an awesome month. And uh, I know, do know that there are some people who, because of the promotion, ultimate dual promotion, their commission check is actually maybe like two to three times their normal pay. Okay, so if you think about it, right, in times like these, right, when some people are suffering because of the situation right now, but yes, yeah, some of you here are enjoying fantastic considered bonus for yourself. Okay, isn't that good or good? Good, right? <clears throat> okay, yeah, mid-year bonus. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's right. Okay, let's go uh, into the, the meeting proper. Congrats to everyone, right? Okay, today's... Um, Training is on EBP, Executive Brand Partner. And I'm sure many of you know what is Executive Brand Partner. Maybe our new friends may not be so uh, familiar with it. Uh, EBP is Executive Brand Partner. Basically, it means you have four direct BR brand reps under you. So yourself, you are a brand rep, qualified to be a brand representative. And then you have four to five direct brand representatives under you. That means you sponsor them and they became brand rep. So you're Executive Brand Partner. All right, so I hope this EVP milestone is not your destination, okay? This is the interim goal. We come in, the first goal, the first milestone is to be an EVP, but this is never our destination, correct? Our destination to be, is to be a team elite or presidential director, agree? So this is only our first milestone, right? Because at the end of our mind, we want to achieve uh, PD presidential director, whereby we have six uh, direct BRs with uh, one line, 10,000, two second line, 20,000 uh, leadership team sales volume, LTSV, third line, 30, fourth line, 40,000. This is what we qualify as a presidential director. Okay, so EVP is your intermediate uh, milestone, intermediate goal that all of us should strive to, to take down ASAP. Okay, all right. If you have any questions, right, you can ask uh, in the chat or you can ask me at the end, right? Or you can ask your upline if you're shy. Okay, so <clears throat> why we talk so much about EVP? So maybe we should talk about what are the perks or benefits of an EVP? Would that be good? Otherwise, why are we striving for a title, right? So what are the benefits that is associated with this uh, pin title? Can anybody tell me? What do you think is the benefit of an EVP? <clears throat> Already shy, right? More money. <laughs> more money. Yeah, more money. Okay, yeah. Start of leverage income, yes. Yes, that's right. Stable organization, yes. Okay. Okay, now I just go into it. Huh? 753 really. Okay, number one. For a start, it's a good commission check for a start. If you ask me, it's about 5,000. If you have a stable structure of an EBP, Right, stable structure, stable volume, even when you have no debt. That means you yourself doing 5,000 GSV, 
you only have four direct BR, no depth, no second level, no third level brand representative doing minimum 5,000 points. We are talking about 5,000 commission check for a start. Is that good or good? If this is your part-time income, is it good? Okay. Very good. For, yeah, for some, it's a, also a very good replacement income. It's very good, isn't it? Oh, hi, Sadia. I didn't see your face here. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> right. So oh. for a start, uh, perks of uh, EVP, for a start, 5,000 commission check for a start, for a stable organization. Okay, we are not talking about um, hit and run, nah, right? Maybe stable organization. And then the other perks of being an EVP is you have early access to information and new products. In information age, this is all still very important. I know we can get a lot of information from social media and all these, but if you have early access, company grant you early access to information, to new launches, to the vision of the company, to new products that's going to be launched, right? You have the perks of gaining access first. So that is really one benefit of the EVP. Okay. Third, leadership role. Because you have for a start, uh, at least four direct BR and you, you are considered a small leader. So you are in a position to influence, right? To at least influence your, for a start, the small team. Okay, this is one of the perks. It trains you to be a leader. You start to think, act like a leader. Okay, and then that means a lot of personal growth for many of us, right? Because when we're working, right, we're used to, uh, receiving in instructions from our boss, right? We, we, we are just an employee. But as, as an EVP, right, you start to assume a leadership role, okay? So to power to influence, you learn how to speak more positively. You learn how to speak such that you can influence another person, right? <clears throat> Number four, qualify for incentive trips. Okay. okay, now we cannot travel, right? <laughs> but it's still good to qualify for incentives trips, right? New Skin has trips for every single year for, the, for EVP and above, right? In the past, there's only like a, what we call a team elite trip. That means you must be a team elite before you can qualify for a trip. Yeah, this is the best. Okay, hopefully the borders are open soon. So make sure everybody gets vaccinated sooner. Then we can start to have a uh, travel resuming. So now EVP also can start to qualify for incentive trips. And next year is going to Moscow, right? Yeah. So Russia now also not very well controlled, but never mind. You qualify first because if the trip is not going to uh, happen, New Skin will give you cash incentive, right? And then you can also qualify for S3 scanner, our antioxidant scanner. At least you can get to lease a scanner, right? As an EVP. And uh, this scanner is very is a very powerful tool for you to go and measure antioxidant score of your customers on TR90, on LiPad, on G3, on Y-Span, right? And you can also use this uh, for your team as well. Your team can leverage on the S3 scanner that you have, okay? <clears throat> okay, anybody here plays football or is familiar with football, this game? Anyone plays football here? Iba, you play? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, I don't like football. I think it's very tiring to run after a ball. Okay. Anyway, right. Football, the goal of football, if you know, is to hit the ball, kick it into the goalpost. Isn't it? Oh, so there you watch. Huh? Okay, good. You know, right? We the, the two teams are trying to kick the ball into the goalpost. That is the ultimate aim of uh, football, right? Nobody plays football by dribbling the ball on the field without going for goals okay so likewise for our business right it's like a game of football okay we have to be goal driven agree you have to kick your goal into the goal post because we are not here to dribble the ball on the field and then you expend energy and get tired and not getting anywhere so we have to be goal driven so there are many goals that you can set goal is very important in anything that you do right not just in evp you need to have goals in anything that you do. Like I said, I used to say, right, if not, you're just like a coconut floating in the water. If you have no goal, you just go, the coconut will land anywhere the tide brings it. We need to have goals, right? So there are many goals that you can set. You can set a GSV goal, right? You can set a number of BRs you want in a certain period of time, this kind of goal. You can set a pin title goal like now, you know, you want to uh, hit EBP by when, or you want to hit EBD by when the time frame, 
you want to set the incentive trip goal, you want to set the commission check goal. Like, you know, by uh, maybe end of December, I want to be able to earn $5,000 commission check from New Skin regularly, for example. Okay, you can also set GDA goal. That means the goal double achiever, the 5,000 GSV by the 21st of the month and 10,000 GSV by the end of the month. Or business builder challenge goal, BBC, for TR90, for Ultimate Duo, NTC goal, etc. Whatever goals that you set, right? There is only one message for you. Pick just one. Keep it simple. Okay. So if you have a goal, do not be greedy and set many goals. Like you want to be EBP, you want to hit ten thousand, you want to hit uh, BBC, etc. Our mind likes simple things. Just pick one goal and focus on that. Okay, and focus on that. Don't distract your mind with too many things until they don't know what to focus on. Okay, so just pick one. Okay, next, talking about EBP, right? Is GSV important in your opinion? Is GSV important? Okay, I see some heads nodding. There are some photos I cannot see anything, right? GSV is very important. Yes, Taufik, it's very, very important. And we will always say, Aim for, yes, very important. No hidayah, Mahana. Aim for 10,000 GSV. I think Taufik covered that last, last week, right, on the BR training. Okay. When you aim for 10,000 GSV, high GSV goals, right, it forces you to meet people. Otherwise, where does GSV come from? It cannot be you consuming yourself every month, right? You can't be consuming 10,000 points every month, okay? We don't want you to buy up points. Right, so 10,000 GSV means you go out, you have to meet many people, you have to hone your skills in customer relationship, you have to hone your skills in your product knowledge, in answering questions, Q and A's, et cetera, et cetera. In answering questions, why they say TNID is expensive, how do you overcome that, et cetera. Oops. Okay, so 10,000 point GSV is very important. Right, doing all these, right? When you are doing all these, you start to be more and more confident because initially you have, uh, you, you actually will get very flustered when you can't answer a person's question. They tell you, TNID is very expensive, too many pills, right? Like, I have no discipline to follow through. Okay, I don't think it will work for me, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, initially you'll be flustered, but you just, you have this goal in your head, just keep doing it. You will get it, become an expert. Okay, so, Having high GSV goals, hitting 10,000 for everyone, even as a new BR, right? You should be aiming for that, is to make sure that you overcome all these challenges ASAP. Yeah, that's right. It's three months, super cheap compared to other weight loss program outside. Okay. So when you have 10,000 GSV, you are also talking about you have commission check, good commission check. I mean, without even without any team that you have for a start, if you are BR of 10,000 points, you're talking about about $5,000 commission check, take home, okay? With money comes confidence, agree? When you're earning good commission check from the business and you share the opportunity to your friend, you tell them, come and join me because you can get quite good commission check. You have more confidence, right? And also with high volume, you start to see more LIs and you start to see BRs, brand reps. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So GSV is not just for 10,000 GSV goal. It's not just for you want to become BR, um, EBP, you know. Everyone who comes in should aim for 10,000 GSV. Right. To force yourself to go out and really uh, hone your skills in answering questions and closing and getting more LIs in. Okay. Okay. And New Skin has this program called Fast Track to become brand reps. It's like a one third the uh, one third of what we used to do in the past, right? So if you have uh, in the month two thousand point as your share block, right? Four blocks under you in just one month, it means two thousand point. You'll be promoted to a brand rep the following week. This is what we call Fast Track brand reps. So in this instance, right? <clears throat> company is actually very fantastic, you know. Because sometimes we do the business, we get distracted. Correct. There's so many things we can aim for, right? There's so many good incentives from a company and all these. We get distracted, you know? 
And then we forgot that actually our core of the business is to get leverage income. That means we need to build BRs. So we get distracted. So they come in with this new, uh, in a way, program, easier for people to qualify so that you focus on building more brand reps. All right. So all of us should build, uh, focus on building brand reps. And that means all of us should focus on sharing the opportunity, sharing how this opportunity can empower you and empower other people to transform their lives. Not just closing product. That means when you're closing a TR90, or Ultima Duo, or even the Lumi Spa, you should be thinking of sharing, somehow sharing opportunity to your prospect so that they can empower themselves to transform their lives right? by becoming a uh, BR first. Okay? <clears throat> so in that, for the matter, right? You got to ask yourself, what is your sponsoring package? Okay. Um, you see, we have many uh, new, uh, very Instagrammable products from New Skin, like Lumi Spa, yeah, Tian IDS, Rosanna. We have Lumi Spa, we have Age Love Boost. Later, we're going to have the Collagen Plus, Beauty Plus. Uh, we're going to have uh, new things, new products, uh, you know, age lock uh, supplements, etc. Right. We always have new things that we get very excited, that we are very excited to share with our prospects. Right. So I want to say, right, you open with any product, but you always duplicate with TRID. So if you close somebody with age lock boost, they come in because they want to look pretty, they want to uh, post IG, in Instagrammable photos on their social media. It's fine. You open with this product, right? But at the back of your mind, you must know to share the, the TR90 sponsoring story with this prospect. Okay? Okay? Because TR90 is something that uh, is, you take it, you get a result, it's very easy to duplicate. You don't have to teach another person. Agree? Agree? Yeah? So you can open with any product. Any product that New Skin has, you, it's like an opening door. You open, it's a key to open to your prospect, right? But maybe the second appointment, you should share with this person about this TR90 opportunity. How TR90, they can use TR90 to transform themselves and empower themselves to transform their lives and to duplicate and to create more BRs to get leverage income. Okay? We must always remember this. Right, and then in, in fact, Ultima Duo also is another sponsoring package. But TN90 is a very good package because it's very visible. Agree? When you transform with TN90, right, the people around you can see. They can see that you look different. If you transform so much, right, they 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 think it's you when they see you when they haven't seen you for a long time. They think it, it looks like you, but they're not too sure. Right, like that day Ibao ran into Zoe at showcase that day, right. He, is, he wasn't even sure that Zoe because with the mask and with the uh, Zoe becoming smaller, so much smaller, Iba couldn't recognize her until I think Zoe put out the, the mask, right? <laughs> yeah. So if you transform like this, right, that means your shop is renovated. Like people are not sure it's you. And then you're very successful, you know. So if a person, if a person is big, yeah, well done, Zoe. If a person is big, right, they have such a good asset to make use of. Isn't it? Because if you're big, you transform with TR90, right? Very good asset, no? Because the, the, the change is so dramatic, right? If you're very skinny, you transform with TR90, you look good also. Lah. But people, sometimes people say, you always look skinny, right? But if you are big, right? Treasure your asset. It's very good for you to run this business and duplicate. Okay? So if you're big, you can do the business. If you're small, good also, because you can also run the business. Anybody can run a business with TR90. All right. Yeah. Waiting for you. Draw another 10 kilo with uh, TR90, Azoe. <laughs> and win the lose to win challenge again. Yes. Okay. So remember, no matter how what new products uh, new skin has, whether it's in Nutrisensual, uh, repackaging and all these, right? You, 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 you excite someone with uh, the new products, new packaging, right? At the back of your mind, you're always thinking of TNID to sponsor them, share with them the opportunity to get them on board. Okay. Okay. I mentioned about uh, we're gonna talk about you know uh, self-limiting belief, right? Our lead. Has anybody made popcorns before? <laughs> yes, Taufik. 
Have you made popcorns yourself? Slim ones maintain and don't age. Difference demonstrated. Yeah, look at Rosiani and Rosanna, the twins. Always slim, huh? so Haida. Also Haida says that, okay. So Tafi has made popcorns. I've never made it, but I've seen people make popcorns, right? So you know popcorns, uh, you, if you close the lid tight, you cannot pop. Huh? That's why you got to remove the lid for you to pop, isn't it? Yeah, so Haida is always young. Because she, yeah, she looks so young, right? Doesn't look like a mother of two. Huh? <laughs> okay, right? So we have to remove the lid when you want to make popcorns and all, all the popcorns will come out, right? So likewise, right? The lid, do you put the lid on your head? Or are you going to unleash your popcorn or your giant within you? Let it flow out. Okay? Right? So we have to remove our lid and remove our self-limiting beliefs. It's not that we are not good enough. It's we put a lid on ourselves, on our head. So we must learn, yeah, you can pop, yes. So that we can pop, right? So you have to remove these self-limiting beliefs from our head and um, it's easier said than done right many people say that but actually there are a few just very few simple steps that you can uh, you know practice and then get there okay you just start to practice all these simple steps and you can remove this lead on your head so let's what are those see just now i mentioned right our brain likes simple things when you have too many things in our head we don't know how to act right so you need to have clarity. We need to have very clear, simple, concise goals. That's it. Many years ago, right, uh, I attended the New Skin Success Summit. And, and uh, in those days, we had uh, New Skin would invite um, top leaders and then to come for this summit. And I remember that time, right, I was sharing a table with uh, some of the million dollars. Uh, I think Gavin Sim, somebody else, uh, you know, in the table. And then people were talking about, um, because the, the summit is basically a discussion of uh, uh, the brainstorming of leaders. How can we grow our team? So many people had many, many ideas. There are many, many pointers given. So actually Gavin Sim said something. He's an MDC from Malaysia. He says, you know, all these things, right? You just make sure you focus on one thing. You just focus on one thing. Don't care so many things that incentive that New Skin has, you know. You just focus on one thing. Let's say incentive trip. Just focus on incentive trip and that's it. Don't care about anything else. Because our brain only wants simple, clear, concise instructions and goals. Okay? So if you're greedy and say, okay, I want to qualify for more school this next year. I want to have a, 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 a 5,000 commission check end of the month, end of the year. I want to have a 10,000 GS fee. I want to qualify for GDA. Many, many things, you know, in your head. So your, sometimes your brain, right, is not very clear, which is more important. <clears throat> the brain will be asking, which one is more important? Okay. So when you see people, um, when you see new skin having emails to say, well, congratulations to all these BBC uh, uh, winners, who won how many, how many sets? And they say, okay, okay, I want to change my goal now to, I want to challenge myself to win BBC. I want to focus on 5TR90, for example. You start to switch. You're not very clear. Your brain also not very clear because there is no strong, simple goal that you will focus on and don't care about what the other people are doing. Okay? So clear, simple goals. Actually, I, I want to bring this point back to, uh, you know, our... The day I was sharing Rosanna, our Singapore government on this the, the, the fight for, for this COVID pandemic. I think Singapore is quite amazing, you know. <clears throat> in, a, in last year, I think we did very well, right? We have very low cases. Then we got uh, the world recognized Singapore, right? While controlling so well. Then later the dormitory cases came up. Then we have 60, is it 60 over thousand cases or 30 over thousand cases, 40 over thousand cases, a lot. Then, then everybody start to laugh at Singapore, right? But actually, if you notice, right? Singapore government don't really care what other people say. No? They don't care. No? They just keep doing what they think is important. What they think is correct. They just do that thing only. So this year, uh, the, the what Delta string came in, right? And then there are people who criticize the borders, not tight, etc., etc., etc. But we continue, the government continue to do what they think should be done. They don't really hear all these voices. They are very clear on their goals. <clears throat> so we should not be distracted by the noises around us. You just focus on your goal. One goal. Clear goal. Okay. So today, look at Singapore. 
COVID is going to be endemic, right? So we are no longer focusing on how many cases, we're focusing on vaccination, focusing on testing, etc. so that our life can go back to normal ASAP. <coughs> okay? Hmm. And again, we are on the world stage again you know, for doing a good job in managing the, the COVID cases. <clears throat> so I think we really should give credit to Singapore and we really should have gratitude that we are born here, raised here in Singapore. Our, our country is very small, but our government is very wise <clears throat> and don't really care about what's happening. And we make sure we do the best for our citizens. Okay, so coming back to this, right? Our brain likes simple things, right? Don't be distracted by noises outside you. Just make sure you have very simple, clear goals. Okay, you can focus on anything, you know. Okay, Sadia, you look very focused, right? Okay, just remember, have simple goals. If you are going to fight for incentive trip, that's it. You know you need to have four BRs. Okay, latest by September. Four BRs, latest by September. You are no need to know how many uh, LIs you need to do. Very simple, all right? So you will not be so bothered by, say, for example, GDA. You're focused on number of uh, LIs. <clears throat> so by then, by September latest, I need to have four BRs up ready and to qualify. Latest, latest. <clears throat> all your goals can be to hit 10 sets of TR90 every single month. 10 sets of TR90 every single month. You don't really care what who is doing what, whether it's the ultimate dual promotion or not. Don't care. You just focus on your TR90 goals. Every month, where are my 10? Where are my 10 that can I help? If I start somebody on TR90, right, I want to make sure this person has results so that I can dig into the person's referral, the contact. Because my goal is 10 TR90. <clears throat> okay? All right. So next point, right, is affirmation. So you have goals ready, but we will always get distracted by outside. So we must affirm to ourselves that you can, you will, Watch you. We have to cycle our brain. This is very interesting you know, because <clears throat> we know of, of affirmation. Uh, we have seen other groups you know, talking about affirmation. But affirmation is, there is a science to it. <clears throat> the psychology behind affirmation. Because there's this thing uh, <clears throat> in what we call cognitive dissonance. Has anybody heard this term before? Cognitive dissonance. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, mission possible. Cognitive dissonance, it means uh, a state of mental discomfort. That means mentally you're uncomfortable. You have anxiety because what you're thinking, what your vision, what your belief, right? It's not aligned with your action. Okay, say for example, I want to lose weight. I really want to lose weight. But every day you eat McDonald's, KFC. You feel horrible, you know? because you want to lose weight, but you cannot stop yourself eating McDonald's and KFC. So that means your thinking and your action is not aligned. You get very stressed. You get anxiety. Okay, Or you're thinking, I want to do well in new skin business. I have to go and talk to people. right? But you're spending time, a lot of time with your children, for example. Then you feel guilty about your business. Or when you're spending time with your children, right, you feel guilty about your business. So there's stress, there's anxiety. <clears throat> That's why the, 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 <clears throat> these psychologists, they say, right, affirmation is important because you, when your mind and your body and your action is not aligned, uh, you get anxious, you get panicky. How the brain will treat, how do you get rid of this anxiety is you either give up the action or you give up, give up your thinking. So many times people just give up. Uh, on the thinking, okay, I want to succeed in the business, right? But when I meet people, I get rejection, but I won. So when I meet rejection, right, I don't go and meet people. I don't really want to share anymore. Because if it's making you anxious, right? Then you start to quit the business. It's easier, ma, quit the business. You quit the action rather than your belief or your thinking. Okay, that's why affirmation comes in. You have to tell your brain, you have to tell, in a way, you got to cycle yourself uh, that you can, you will watch me. So, so that your thinking can take over your action. So when your, your belief and your thinking change, right, your behavior will change. Okay, this is a process, but you, we all should practice this. So you see those successful people, right? They don't have good background, for example, but they have very 
strong mental grit. It means they're very good affirmation on their brain. No? They tell themselves they can make it. Steve Jobs is so strong here. Don't really care what you do, you know. I just want it. Okay, so when you can change your belief, right, you will change your behavior. Then your body and your actions, your, your mind is aligned. All right. <clears throat> okay, got it, this part here. So affirmation is very important. No? So sometimes last time when you, when you hear people say, you know, uh, every day you wake up and tell yourself, yes, I'm a blue diamond, for example. Blue diamond, that means EBD. La. You tell yourself, uh, I'm, uh, yes, I'm a blue diamond. Yes, I'm a presidential director. You know, it's actually self-affirmation. But many times that we were just like, ooh, so funny, right? So funny for us to say that to ourselves every day, you know? But it's really to tell our brain that so that we, our action will change as well. <clears throat> Okay, so, so that is the other way. There's a second part of how you can remove your lead in your head. Okay, the other part, right, about how you remove your, your lead is, you must ask yourself, is this a fact or an opinion? A fact is always supported by one or more stretches of evidence. A fact is true and correct for everyone, no matter what. An opinion holds an element of belief or viewpoint which hasn't been validated or proven yet is subjective. Okay, so example, <clears throat> the fact is obesity is on the rise. Is that a fact? Yes, right? Everybody can conclude this a fact. Uh, TR90 is effective. Is it a fact? Yes. TR90 is 2,120. That's a fact. Correct. Okay. Opinion is when you think, yes, it's a fact that uh, obesity is a upward trend. There are many people who need TNID. You throw a pebble, you know, left, right, center, top, bottom, somebody will need TNID. Opinion is when you say, but my people cannot afford. This program is good, but my people cannot afford. That's opinion. That is your opinion. That's not a fact. That is your opinion. Because the TNID is number one in Singapore, Singapore and Malaysia. Agree? So if you belong to the category of telling yourself, not even to your upline, in your head you're telling yourself, no, my people cannot afford. I know it's very good. My people cannot afford. 2,120 leh. It's one month their salary, half a month their salary, one third their salary. They have bills to pay. They can't afford it. <clears throat> that is your opinion, my dear. That is your opinion because there are many people who have won BBC. There are many Malays who have won BBC. One set BBC, two sets, three sets, four sets, five sets. Okay, so we must quickly remove this opinion of ours because the fact is it really helps. It's really effective. And with TR90, right, people's life really transform. Not just their physical health, but their life really transform with TR90. <clears throat> okay. So the way to leave your lid is really to ask yourself, is this a fact or an opinion? Okay. One of the leaders, uh, a millennial, Clinton, he ever did the first UREF uh, in, uh, in Clark Key Central, right? The very first UREF that uh, New Skin held, he was a, he's a millennial. He, let me see. And then his team, right? <clears throat> I remember that day in the room, there are many people who are in NS or just pass out from NS. That means very young, 20, 21, is it? Passed from NS 2021, right? Or 22, right? Around there, huh? around there. Basically, very young, very young. Not like my age, very young. Then he asked, is TR90 expensive or not? Right? So I'm thinking, wow, his team very young, you know. How do they do TR90? He says, no, it's not expensive. TR90 is not expensive. He has many people who are in the early 20s, but he says TR90 is not expensive. Right? Because these people, to, to him, right, these people, even if they are students, right, they are parents behind them who can support them with TNID. Because when you see this TNID as an empowering set, you don't see the price anymore. Agree? You don't see the price anymore. Even if I'm 18 years old, uh, on TNID, right, and I can transform and I can share the opportunity to another person, it's not expensive, right? Okay? Or some people, they say, you know, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm already like 50 years old already or 35 years old or 40 years old. I'm too old. Too old for me to charge in this business. The fact is, yes, you are 35, you're 40. That is a fact. 
the opinion, that's your opinion that you're too old that you cannot charge. Another person can say, I'm 18 years old, I'm too young, right? Uh, like uh, Nasrullah, he started at 18 years old. The fact is, he started at 18 years old. That's a fact. The opinion, if you think he's too young, then he's too young. That's his opinion. But to us, age is just a number. Agree? Mrs. Kishimoto, $20 million circle from the US. She's a Japanese in the US. She started new skin business at 60 years old. She's in her 80s, almost 90s now. She started at 60, you know. And we are all still babies uh, compared to her. Agree? So you must, like, whenever you tell yourself all these negative thoughts, right, you must ask yourself, is this a fact or is this just my opinion? <clears throat> if it's just my opinion, right, somebody will think the opposite. I better think like one. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah. <clears throat> If your parent knows TRID earlier, you won't be so susa. What is susa? <laughs> oh, yeah. Example, right? The fact is, you know, some people, they say, right? Oh, yeah, you know, my, my, my whole, I've always been fed. Been fed for so many years, you know? Cannot, oh, hard, huh? Okay, you won't be so hard now. I'm fed for so many years, I cannot lose it one, huh? Correct. The fact is, you have been fed for many years, right? Example, Zoe, yeah? Zoe, after her first child, right? She has never been slim, right? It's, was that 21 years old? That's a fact. Since I think 21 years old, she has always been big, heavy. This is a fact. But the opinion is, can you lose weight? Or you think, no, I'm fat. La, I cannot lose weight. One, la. I'm like that one. For the rest of my life, I'll be like this. This is opinion. But look at her. Today, I think she has lost 30 over, coming to 40 kilo already. Okay. So you can, you can have your opinion. Everybody is entitled to our opinion. But if you want to leave your late, right, you must check that this opinion, do you want this opinion or you better have another opinion that helps you leave your late? <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> you try many times in younger times, yeah. Luckily, you met a uh, new skin. And also the diet play a part, right? Well done, no? Well done. It's really not easy to lose from 100-ish kilo to now 70-ish, okay? She's aiming for 70 kilo soon already. So that is a, a, a 30 odd kilo loss. And this one lost since she carried this weight since 21 years old. And now she, you are in, how old are you? 50s, uh, mid 50s, or approaching 60s, right? Something like that, uh, okay? She is very young, okay? <laughs> She's very young, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, then the other thing, right, to help yourself is really have anyone heard of this? Oh, Azahar, next target. Yeah. Yeah, it's very inspiring and telling Zoe, right? Her story is really very inspiring because it gives a lot of big people a lot of hope. Big people who have been big for many, many years, she's an inspiration to them. Okay, so we must really go out and share and empower more people so they can enjoy better health, you know? Right. Sometimes when you're big, you don't realize that you are going through so much, right? So after Zoe lost so much weight, right? She saw a video of herself walking. Somebody filmed her. I think her kids filmed her from behind. She didn't realize last time she walked like a penguin because of her weight, you know, her, her, her knees cannot support. So she, she walks like a penguin. So she says so awful looking, you know, she didn't realize when you're big, you don't realize. So only when she lost her weight, then she doesn't walk like that anymore. So she's happier. Lah, huh? Okay. So law of concentration. Anybody has heard of this law of concentration? There are many laws on this earth, right? Yeah. Gaining weight is normal for many. Yes, the fact is there is a solution. Correct. Agree? There is really a solution. <clears throat> okay. Law of concentration. Okay. This law basically says, right, what you think long and hard enough, it will become reality. Law of concentration. What you think long and hard enough, it will become reality. If you think long and hard enough that you'll be MDC, you'll be MDC, all right? If you think long and hard enough, you'll hit 2,000 GSV, you'll hit 2,000 GSV, okay? So make sure you think higher, better goals, right? So Brian Tracy is a motivational speaker. He says, you know, you hear of people telling heard of this statement, right? You are not what you think you are. Who do you think you are? You heard of this a lot. Who do you think you are, you know? But actually, he says, right, you are really what you think you are. If you think you're good, you'll be good. If you think you will lose with, uh, you have good body shape, 
and wait with TR90, you will. If you think you will not succeed, you will not succeed. If you think you will hit 10 sets TR90 this week, this month, you will. You look at Ultimate Dual Promotion. Some of you have never really closed a, a full set of Ultimate Dual Promotion, uh, Ultimate Dual Set. If you think you can, you will. <clears throat> you are what you think you are. So don't think small of yourself, really. Okay. So a lot of all these are mental works <clears throat> for ourselves, you know. So if you think that I'm I'm big all these years, I cannot lose one. Yes, you are what you think you are. Okay. So if you tell yourself I'm going to transform and be an inspiration to my children and to the people around me, right? You will. This is the law of concentration. And all these laws, you cannot challenge them. It will happen. It's just like the uh, law of attraction. Whatever you think of, you will attract. Okay, or law or what? Projection, right? <clears throat> you all like to say law of projection. These are laws. That means laws are laws. It will not change. So law of concentration, you... Last time we used to say, right? Um, you see, when I hit my first 10,000 points, uh, the very first time I hit 10,000 points in my first year of new skin career is because my upline asked me, do you want to hit 10K? <clears throat> I remember that was in my first year. I think maybe it was the seventh or ninth month in my new skin uh, journey. At that point, week three, I was I closed 7,000 points already that time because of LOIs, right? So then I started to shake it already. I think, oh, very good already, you know, I closed shop so I can enjoy the last week. Then my upline asked me, do you want, want to hit 10,000 points? I said, of course I want. How to do it? That means what's the method? She just say, you just think you will reach there. That was the method. You just think and you reach there. Actually, she's talking about law of concentration. If you put it in the more atas way, like it's law of concentration. So when you want, you really think you will achieve it. Okay. So once I achieved that 10,000 point that month, right? It doesn't seem so difficult to hit 10,000 point anymore. And it means the lead is lifted. You get me? Okay. You all look very serious. Okay, please go and practice, right? Go and practice because this is for our own face. <laughs> yeah, concentrating, uh, Rosani. Okay. <laughs> right? Go and practice. We are really what we think we are. Xu Tong, right, the $20 million from China, he also said before, you know, when he started the business, when he's nobody yet, he thinks like a EBD. When he's nobody, when he's on stage speaking, he thinks and speak like an executive brand director because he wants to assume that. So if you're not yet an a, a, a executive brand partner, not yet EBP, maybe you should start to think like an EBD or start to think like an MDC and you will, you will be one, okay? So in the past, when, uh, when I was very new in the business, right? When I encounter uh, issues in the business or product issues with customers, I always think back, what would this MDC, how would he react or how would she react? How would she handle the situation? I try to put myself and think like a MDC in order to uh, resolve my own issue, okay? <laughs> yes, you already 68 kilo. Okay, good. You will, definitely you will. Okay, you start to assume the thinking of a million dollar circle and then you, you will not, you'll notice that your actions will change, you know. Your thinking will also change, right? Right. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of concentration. Use it a lot, please, right? Use it positively, use it wisely. Don't focus and think that you cannot make it your friends cannot afford the programs, et cetera. Don't use it in that manner. Use it positively for yourself and for the people around you. <clears throat> and uh, last few slides, belief. Belief is a very powerful thing. Many times I see that uh, a downline will believe, uh, will, okay, they go for meetings, go for big events, they think, yes, new skin can do. Yes, new skin can. Yes, these people, you know, very inspiring. But they actually don't believe in themselves. End of 2021. Okay, faster lah. <laughs> right? So, believe in yourself. Many of you, I know you believe in the products, you believe in the company, believe in your team, right? Your own small team, believe in GS. But very importantly, right, you got to believe in yourself. 
And that goes back to, you know, lifting the lid in your head. Really. So believing in yourself is how you can accelerate your growth. That's how you can unleash the giant in you. Sometimes you, if you are new, you do cases with your upline, you meet nasty people, you meet people who are not nice to you, you cannot close, etc. right? It does not matter, right? Just think back, you know, you are like the Singapore government. You don't care what the world says about you. You just have to believe in this four, yourself, the products, the company, and your team. And you start to gather a team of like-minded people like yourself and to start transforming your life, empowering yourself, your life, and empowering others and transforming their lives. Okay, it's very normal for us when we go out and uh, our prospects do ABC with our upline. That's not every case is closable one. Not everyone is nice. You agree? Not everybody is nice one, you know. Not everybody deserves a good product or a good opportunity. They're just, it's, it's just a world. Uh. There'll be people who do not deserve it. And there are people who are not nice. There are people who are abusive, but it doesn't matter. Correct? We want to attract the good people into our team. You don't need the whole world. You just need to attract people like yourself into the team. Believe it, be steadfast, and continue until you show results. All right? <clears throat> I mean, I my share, fair share of nasty people that I meet, especially in the initial part of my new skin career. But now we hardly meet. Yeah? Because people also see results. People also see like, you know, eight years later, you are still doing, you must be doing okay. But initially, right, especially your, the people who know you, some are really not very nice. So if you give in to them and then just quit the business, right, they'll say behind your back, see, I told you. That's why you have to prove them wrong. Okay, so initial period, you'll meet nasty people. That very normal. Okay, later on, use your results to show them and change them. <clears throat> A lot of people don't have self-belief due to years and years of people telling them, either directly or indirectly, they are not good enough. Just have to be surrounded by people who have faith in you and are positive. Yes, I totally agree, Farid. Yeah. yeah lo, I hate this one. See, I told you. This one, uh, see, I told you. Like They're very smart. Huh? See, I told you. Ah, yeah, so many people will tell you, I told you what. See, I told you. That's why when I... When I started the business initially, I get all these negative things, right? And then all the more, I tell myself I need to power on because I cannot bear hearing all this. See, I told you so. <laughs> I cannot, you know? So I can only move forward, right? So don't let yourself be in the situation where by receiving a lot of see, I told you so, you know? So move forward, okay? And the responsibility starts with me. Correct? Yeah, all the more you should prove to them. Correct. Yes. And actually, many times that people are observing us, right? They don't say anything only, but they observe. But actually, they are envious of the lifestyle. It may not be the money, you know, but it's the lifestyle. Right? The freedom, the flexibility of time. When they are doing Zoom calls, start with meetings and uh, teleconferencing, all these at funny hours, you can have breakfast with your parents, with your children. You know, these are things that people are envious, right? And they want. They also observe and ask you every time, Raya. My uncle finally asked me how we can do this business. Yeah, and after so long, right, Rosanne, Rosanna? After so long, you know, so persevere. Responsibility equals to response and ability. Wow. Ahmad Farid is the very intellectual person here. <laughs> Sometimes he has very big words. I don't understand. Let's go and Google. Okay. But anyway, responsibility starts with us. Right? It's nobody's responsibility, right? It starts with us and you have a responsibility to yourself, to your family, to your team, to the team, the GS team, as well as to your future team. To your future team. Okay? So your team look to you. So we start with ourselves, right? So we, we you know, we, you just remember responsibilities on my shoulder to my future team as well and to my current team. Fahana says, strange when they tell me it's good you stay doing this business. When I ask them to come on board, they will say no. Lah. Shy, maybe. Maybe they have this, the, you know, the, the lead is just there. Lah. So we help them open up so the popcorn can come out, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, this is my last slide. Zig Ziglar says, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Okay, this is a big mouthful. Yeah, believe in ourselves, be confident and show results. Yes. 
We win others with results, especially people who are close to you. Okay, this is a big mouthful. Your attitude means your attitude, your mindset, not your ability will determine how high you go. Okay, I want to leave with this because <clears throat> there are many wonderful people, very high caliber people, right? Some, sometimes they do the business. If their attitude is not right, their mindset is not right, the altitude is not that high. Say, for example, if I'm a high caliber person, uh, I'm a professional, for example. But when I see the new skin business, I think of products and I think of price, example. So I think to myself, the product seems good, but it's quite expensive. So when I share with my prospects who are also good caliber one, it will come out this way. That, uh, you know, this is a good product, but maybe you try one first because it's not cheap. And then you will get customers. Agree? This is your mindset, your attitude. Ma. So you gather customers. And these customers will nitpick with you because the focus is on price, not on value. But you're a good caliber person. So you find that you struggle with the business. Okay. Another person, maybe not so highly educated, doesn't come from a very good background, but has a desire to, to uh, aspiration to work hard for the family. And this person saw the business as empowering them so that they can break out of their current situation. Because if they are not highly educated, they are not good caliber, right? Through a normal job, they will always be, let's say, for example, uh, example, uh, not putting anybody down. Maybe they can only do uh, delivery because they are not highly educated. They don't know a lot of uh, uh, people. So they don't have a lot of connection. They don't have money. So they can only be a delivery person and they cannot really proceed in their life. But they saw the business here. They saw that it can empower them. For me, to break up from this mode, to move into another uh, social status. So they saw this, the empowering, the empowering part. And they start to share with people around them that they can all empower themselves through a set of TR90, for example. We change, we renovate ourselves, use this to go and empower another person to transform and gather more and more people to come on board with them to become BR. And that's how they come. EBP, EBD. Okay, you notice it's just a mindset only. But because you share like this, right, you gather a team of people, right? You are not focusing on the price. You will help to answer questions on why 2120 is not expensive. Like starting a business, 2120 is very cheap. And this business in three months, I renovate, I can bring my shop everywhere to showcase to people. And anyone can start with me, like me. You are leveraging an installment to transform so that you can change your life and move up your social start status. This person will gather with time, will gather a team of like-minded people, distributors, BRs, EBPs, EBD in his team. Versus someone who is good caliber, but thinking of product price. That person will gather customers and a lot of nitty gritty people who nitpick on your product pricing, et cetera. Agree? Okay, so it's very important, right? It's really not your aptitude, not your background. It's really how you see it. What is your attitude? What is your mindset? You determine who you gather in your team and how far you'll go. All right? So same thing, somebody who is okay, the caliber is okay, but this person loves the flexibility of the business. Right, love the flexibility, quite happy with 5,000 uh, commission check. So this person, when sharing, likely this person will gather some uh, distributors under him and maybe some resellers. You know, it's the positioning. So you get some people who are doing the business, some are resellers, and many of them likely will be doing 2,000 points, 3,000 points because this person is happy with a $5,000 commission check. So it really determines what kind of uh, people you have on board, how far or how high you go, what is on your head. So like I want to repeat, right? It's really not your background, not your age, not your gender, not your race. All this is really immaterial. It's your mindset and your attitude, right? And this is how you explain people from uh, Vietnam, people from Indonesia, Malaysia, who are as lower standard of living compared to Singapore, but they are doing a lot more. Agree? 
So some of you, I mean, if you can go into the VNG and see your commission, your ranking in terms of GSV, you go and see under your pin title, who is the top scorer in terms of GSV. Yeah, I have the right attitude. Yeah. Sometimes you cannot believe, no, like 60, 000, 60 blocks a month, Vietnamese. I've seen 100 over blocks a month account kind of GSV. It's like, wow, it's mind boggling, right? It is mind boggling, isn't it? Because here you are, you have people telling you 2,000 points difficult to maintain. 2,000 points is four blocks. And you can see the top is 60, 100, 120. My group, the highest is from Malaysia and then Vietnam. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Indonesia, 89 blocks. Very commonly you see these, you know, it's like, is this a, a, some error in the app or what? But no, every month like this. Eh. Uh, so this is a fact, right? This is the fact. So your opinion is 2,000 points difficult to do. This is your opinion. Can you have this opinion of 89 blocks? Then just go and see how much commission check that will be. It's like, you will just flip, you know. <laughs> Can I imagine? 89 plus is 44,500 GSV. Did anybody go and see how much is the build bonus for 89 blocks? Oh, very high, right? Yeah, they see the value of new skin opportunity. So Vietnam people, definitely a product to them is high cost compared to us. Right? You cannot be saying, right, all the Vietnamese only targets the rich people. That's what we used to say about Indonesia, right? Indonesia started because they reached out to the rich Chinese, right? But now the one they are growing is really the local Indonesians. Max you see is 64 blocks, 17,000 Singapore dollars. Hmm. Okay, so remember, these are all facts. Yeah, these are all facts, right? So what you think is your opinion? Like I say, your opinion is your opinion. You're entitled to it. But make sure, try, try your very best to adopt the positive opinions. Okay, facts are facts. Facts don't lie. There are really people who really earn a lot just from build bonus itself only. Definitely, you have such huge volume, right? You will have a lot of uh, LOIs in your team, isn't it? How can you be earning 17,000 and you're telling your peers who is struggling at 1,000 or 2,000 Singapore dollar salary check not to join you? Correct. If you're earning 17,000 from new skin and your friend is earning 3,000 from his job and slogging day in, day out, a lot of pimples on the face are very fat. How, how can you not share this opportunity of the person, right? Definitely you will share and come and join me. Come and join me. This is how you grow your team. Uh. Okay. Got it. So and that's the end of my slides. Does anybody have any question? A lot of all this is really mindset because there are, there are so much uh, training materials out there. And now with social media, right? It's everywhere already. You want to learn anything also can, right? New skin, the business, new skin. There are so many people using new skin, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's the same for everyone. It's only our mindset, our attitude. Right. When we meet a rejection, ask yourself, is this opinion or is it fact? If it's opinion, right, push one side because there are people who can earn very well, can do very well. Why not it be you? Earning 17K in New skin is different from earning 17K in corporate. Yes. Yeah. If Do you know anybody who earns 17K from work? Personally? My peers are all earning that kind of range, right? Yes, many. And you know they are very stressed, one. Huh? They are very, very stressed, right? They are very stressed because their time is not theirs. The time belongs to the company. They have to do many things. And many times, uh, late 40s, early 50s. Yeah, lah, my category. <laughs> right? Or those people who are uh, doing uh, sales in the past. Because now with COVID also, uh, sales related job also affected. Yeah? Long hours, she work on calls. Ungodly hours. Yes, my friend sleeps at 1, 2 a.m. a day, one, every single day. Yes, high income, la, but very stressed, la, very also big. La. That's why I need and IT. Okay, right. So, so, yes, you know, the kind of uh, income from new skin and the kind of income from uh, work is different. So, if you desire a different kind of lifestyle, a different kind of lifestyle, people usually envy the kind of lifestyle. Sometimes it may not be money. Sometimes they want to do good. 
but they are limited by their lifestyle. So if you envy the kind of lifestyle, you know, we seriously look at new skin and change your mindset, change your attitude because you can reach anywhere. So if you think that new skin can give you, uh, new skin is very good. Yes, it is. It's a fact. If you smile while going to work, it shows whether the income is happy income or not. Yeah, that's true. New skin is good. We know that. Okay. But if you decide, right, okay, new skin, I want to earn 2,000 from new skin or 1,000 from new skin, I'm very happy. Go ahead. But new skin, you can earn 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 per month. It's up to you to write the check. Okay, so if your opinion is I can earn only about 1,000, 2,000 from new skin, I'm happy already. That's your opinion. It's fine also. But you can think higher, right? Nathan Ricks, the $20 million from US, he, when he first started, he rejected, I think, new skin twice or three times. When he started new skin business, his aim is to earn 100,000 US dollar commission check at the end of one year per month. Per month. Right, because the brother-in-law was the one who prospected him into the business and the brother-in-law was already earning quite good commission from New Skin. So that was his goal when he first came into New Skin. He wants to win $100,000 USD per month by the end of one year. And he nearly achieved that goal. He was just short a few hundred dollars only. So by the end of 12 months period, his monthly commission check was 99000 don't know how many hundred dollars per month. Okay? So... His opinion is he can earn $100,000 per month at the end of a 12 months work, uh, working hard. That's his opinion. He got it. So if your opinion is after three years, if I can earn $2,000 per month, I'm happy. That is also your opinion. You will get it as well. Right? So think high. Right? Yes, Fari, you're right. No, never ending uh, emails. Huh? Yeah, all of you say, right? Emails. Nah. No need to check emails. Correct. You see emails only, yes. I mean, last time when I was on leave, right? One day only, I go back 100 over emails a day. Ugh, very frustrating. I feel that I don't, my leave don't belong to me. I just keep it for next day only, all my work. Nobody does your job, ma. When you go on leave, you go on two weeks leave only, come back. Shh. SHIT. <laughs> yeah, you're drowning SHIT. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe doctor different. Uh. <laughs> the patient will be covered by locum. But sometimes locum doctors or clinic or pharmacy, right? They wait for you, you know, the patient. That means when you're not around, they don't come in, you know. Oh, you look good, my regular doctor not around. Then I wait for him to come back. God, we have pharmacies like that also. So all the customers will come, zoom in when the person is back on leave. Yeah, ping, ping sun, 100. And that is every day, like 100 over emails per day, you know. <laughs> yes, Rina. I will not say all the word. Yes. A lot of work to do, okay? So working is not uh, uh, not happy for me. Lah, okay? Maybe it's happy for some people. Yeah, some people love to work, okay? I don't belong to that category. So I belong to the category of enjoy life, okay? I hope all of you also belong to the category of enjoy life and you can get it from new skin. So I hope uh, you're happy with, you know, you go and think of what kind of lifestyle you want. Yeah, enjoy life. What kind of lifestyle you want and then new skin is the platform, the vehicle for you to reach that part here. Okay, so just go through what I said today in uh, today's sharing, and I hope you reach your goal ASAP. Okay, remember your brain likes simple, clear, concise goals. So have you decide today what kind of goal you want? If it's ten thousand GSV or ten TR ninety, right? Stick to it. Don't waver. And just every day wake up and think, where am I going to get that? Where am I going to get that? Okay. So with that. Uh, your gratitude, huh? value time with family. True? Okay, thank you, Rosani. So with that, I'll end the sharing today. I hope uh, yes, uh, uh, benefited you. Yeah, oh yeah. Today's the last day of the month, right? Okay, a few more hours to hit your goal if you haven't reached it. Okay, so good job, everybody. I hope you remember this month's motivation, inspiration that keeps you moving forward, that you'll strive the same next month. And coming, our, we have our Sea Life uh, Convention in August. And new skin dimension, uh, this month and next month, they're going to have promotions, you know. So I'm looking forward to next month's promotion that you can use it to excite your customers or your prospects. Close them, the product. Remember, duplicate with TRID. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope you have a great night. Right. TRID promo. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you.